7.53 a.m. and I am summoning Mount Whitney. Good morning. It is about 10 minutes to 4 a.m. and we are starting day 13, heading up Mount Whitney. I don't see any sign of the moon, which means the sky is nice and dark, which makes for perfect bright stars. And it has been pretty neat so far. Uh, I think this whole morning is going to be pretty neat. I'm going to try to get some shots of the stars if I can. Uh, I don't know how that'll work, but... Uh, and then dawn um, should be amazing as well. I expect to be around Guitar Lake for that, so... Alright, here we go. Day 13, Mount Whitney. Last night and this morning have definitely been the coldest it's been on a trip. I guess my 30th. Alright, we are looking out over Timberline Lake. I am going to uh, take some starry pictures here. Probably can't see them on here, but there are a couple headlamps in the- oh, there it is. Headlamps in the distance. Felt like I was the only one. I know it's a big thing from Guitar Lake. Um, didn't see anybody else where- well, there was another person up. Um, but yeah, apparently there are some other people going. Some frost in the ground down here, so... Definitely around freezing. Alright, I am at Guitar Lake. There's a bunch of people waking up, getting moving right about now. There's also a bunch of headlamps up there moving. So I am going to load up on water and uh, eat some breakfast and then get moving. Alright, 5.15 a.m. leaving Guitar Lake. Headed up to Whitney. Let's do this. is the around the height of passes and still got four miles up to go for Whitney. You can definitely uh, feel it.
Let's see why it's called Guitar Lake. What a morning. My goodness. Incredible. Here I am at Trail Crest. Uh, trail's gonna split off and go two miles up to Mount Whitney. The end of the line, or she's the end of the John Muir Trail. And then uh, I'll retrace those two miles back here and then head back that way. Well, not back, but head that way to, uh, to Lone Pine. Take mine with me. I think I'll just be more comfortable that way. What a morning. All right. Complete the final 1.9 miles of the John Muir Trail. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm starting to come to the realization that I might actually complete this trail. I haven't done it yet though. But so close. Some pretty serious trail here. Definitely gotta uh, Pay attention. Wow, first view looking west towards Long Pine, first time feeling the sun, oh my gosh, look at that, it's unbelievable. Here's another one, this one's even steeper. Coming up to the final ascent. There's the hut up there. Still a long way to go, but I can see the end. Something. 
that might be the highest point in the continental US in completing the John Muir Trail. Woo! Wow. There it is. I did it. I did it. passes to myself and now I have the summit of Mount Whitney all to myself. Incredible. <laughs> wow. This completes the John Muir Trail. I'm also going to save, save the log book here. I believe they uh, keep these on record so it'd be good to have that uh, have that there. All right, let's get started on the long trek down. Just past Trail Crest, saying goodbye to the uh, Sierra descending. just completed what is literally like 99 or 100 switchbacks. I know somebody was counted before. I didn't have it in me to count, but it definitely felt like that many. Um, and now here are the cables. These, um, both the switchbacks and the cables can be dangerous in winter or spring. Uh, so this area holds snow for a long time and you, you can tell that you wouldn't want to fall off either one, so. But yeah, pretty interesting to see. So Whitney may have been my favorite hike ever. Um, speaking about those last two miles to the summit. But man, the trail down to Lone Pine, you are just going back and forth the whole time. It just feels like you're going nowhere. You can only imagine going up. Doesn't count since it's not on the JMT, but this definitely uh, takes the prize as toughest descent. Winning over Muir Pass. But like I said, of the actual JMT, I still say Muir Pass is the most challenging.
So about three quarters of a mile from the Whitney Porta. Um, it's been a lot of traffic going up, but not much coming down and I need to hitch a ride. So I'm a little nervous about that. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna have to wait till later or, or what. So I guess we'll, uh, we will have to see how that goes. Amazing, just at the portal here. Really amazing. All right, here we are at the portal from trail life back to civilization. Here we are, day 13. It was another incredible day. Um, Mount Whitney was just amazing. Obviously finishing the trail was amazing. Um, longest descent of my life, literally. Um, it was just crazy. But uh, yeah, I was worried about hitching a ride and the first car that came picked me up drove me right into town, so uh, yeah, I've been eating and eating and eating since I've been here and uh, tomorrow starts the travel, so that's about it, thanks for watching.